Oh, hey, Hillary, how's it going? Oh, hey, Larry. Today I'm here to speak with Game Fish and Parks biologist Hillary Meyer, ask her a few questions about the salmon fishing on Lake Oahe. Hillary, what's this I hear about Game Fish and Parks thinking about giving the cold water stocking program in Lake Oahe a makeover? You're right, Larry. Lake Oahe salmon fishery is a pretty important fishery for South Dakota. Where else in the world can you go to catch a salmon on the prairie? It's a pretty cool opportunity. Some anglers that come here to fish salmon drive 200 miles just one way to fish. And in the good years, it can bring in two and a half million dollars to the local economy. And Game Fish and Parks over the last couple decades has been trying a number of different cold water stockings like rainbow trout, brown trout, chinook salmon, and lake trout. And some have had good success, some haven't. So we want to try and increase the number of salmon that people are catching in Lake Oahe. So we're thinking about stocking a new species, the Atlantic salmon. What is an Atlantic salmon? Well, Atlantic salmon are native to the east coast of North America, so they're mostly found around New England and also in the Great Lakes and the surrounding states um, around the Great Lakes. They're important sport fish where they're found and they're known to be really good fighters too. They can grow to a pretty good size, comparable to the Chinooks in Lake Oahe. So why did you pick this fish to stock into Lake Oahe? Great question, Larry. Thanks, Hillary. Well, they're a little bit easier to catch than other salmon species where they're stocked, uh, like in the Great Lakes. So fishermen have better chances of catching Atlantic salmon. So we were thinking that we might be able to try them out in Lake Oahe. They're found in shallower water than the Chinooks that we stock right now, so they should be more available to anglers. And another good thing is that they can live one to three years longer than the Chinook salmon that we currently have, so they'll be more available as adult fish for fishermen. One good positive about them too is that they don't depend on rainbow smelt as much as Chinook salmon do. So in years when we have low abundance of rainbow smelt, we can still have Atlantic salmon. They'll probably do okay because they can feed on other things. Are there any downsides to stocking Atlantic salmon? Well, there's a few things to consider. Atlantic salmon are known for migrating into open water. So in Lake Oahe, that means that they could be flushed through the dam. So that's something to consider. But if that's the case, they'll end up in Lake Sharp and it could provide a tail race fishery for Atlantic salmon. So while they wouldn't be in Lake Oahe, they would still be potentially available to anglers below the dam. And the other thing to think about, as I mentioned, Atlantic salmon use shallower water than Chinooks, so they might be a little bit more spread out, and they might be harder for fishermen to find. But they'll probably have a small, a very small impact on prey numbers compared to the number of walleye, channel catfish, and northern pike in Lake Oahe. So you're saying the Atlantic salmon won't compete with walleyes for food then? We don't think Atlantic salmon will have much of an impact on the prey resources in Lake Oahe, because really when you think about it, we'll be stocking numbers less than 4% of what the current walleye population is at. So really when you add Atlantic salmon to the mix, it's like a drop in the bucket on Lake Oahe, or as I like to say, a salmon in Lake Oahe. Yikes. So what's the plan then? What are you guys going to do? Well, our plan is to stock Atlantic salmon for four years, from 2016 to 2019. And really all we want to do is try and increase the number of salmon that are caught by our fishermen. So to do that, we'll be tracking what kind of salmon are caught and how many salmon are caught. And we'll continue to stock Chinook salmon just so that we can compare the two species. And we'll be tagging both Chinooks and Atlantic salmon, which reminds me, don't forget to turn in your uh, tag salmon heads to Game Fish and Parks for a chance to win $100. Now, to you guys at home, let us know what you think. So click on the link below to fill out a survey with your opinions on this new project. Thanks, and happy fishing.